Just a very brief introduction to GM Opsim in the context of um, wind farm installation. GM Opsim is our discrete event simulation software that can carry out a wide range of, of simulations of this nature. Um, downtime studies, comparing drilling schedules, um, FPSO offtake, crew transfer, vessel operations, that sort of thing. The unifying principle in all of these is that we start off with some Met Ocean data provided by an agency such as the Met Office that provides us with regular hindcast values for things like wind speed, sea state for a significant period of time, usually sort of 10 years or more, and at regular intervals. In this case, we've got records every three hours here. And having brought this into the simulation model, we can then drop other components on and then hook those up to that Met Ocean data. So in this case, we've got two vessels represented in the simulation, one for piles that's going to transfer between Port A and the installation site, carrying four piles at a time. Another vessel here for jackets, which is going to go between Port B and the installation site, and that's going to carry two jackets at a time. So that's going to wait until the, re the required number of, of piles are available at the installation site before that proceeds. And within each of these blocks, we have a flow control that shows the overall behavior um, where we're sort of making repeated trips out to between port and installation site, repeated steps of loading, repeated steps of installation, and we can see sort of transit operations in between. And then for each of those, we can specify the durations of each activity involved and the actual operating limits that govern those operations. So in this case, we can see that for installation, we're saying that we must have a wind speed below 20 knots and we must have a sea state, a sea height below three meters. And we have a similar thing here for jackets. So once we've developed our model in OpSim, we can actually visualize the behavior of that, which is an invaluable tool for making sure that what we intended to simulate is what we actually are simulating. And we actually start with some fairly serious weather, but once that comes back below threshold, we'll see the pile vessel move off. Once again, we're above our red line here for wind speed, but once that drops, we can see here we've installed four piles, at which point the vessel returns, goes back with the next four. And once we've had eight installed, the jacket vessel proceeds to then install the two jackets. And it will carry on like that, and we can ratchet up the speed of the, the simulation. And we can watch it gradually install all of these until I think we get 15 jackets installed in total and then we can uh, we can verify the behavior of the model. Once we're happy the model's doing what we want, uh, we've got a whole range of reporting built into to a GM Opsim here. Um, we can sort of compare against certain durations, we can do box plots of duration or delay, um, we've got various stuff relating to traffic counters, non-exceedance plots, so there's a whole range of built-in reporting or we can customize this for particular jobs. Um, in this case, what we're going to ask it to do is not just to simulate the wind farm installation once, but to do it for a whole range of starting points throughout the 10 years worth of weather data. Um, in this case, I'm going to run it starting approximately one week apart just to, to make it run in a sensible period of time. But we could in, in practice do this every three hours for the whole 10 years worth of weather data. So if I simulate that, we can then get, uh, as you can see here, some statistics, statistics showing the year-on-year uh, -year comparison in total completion time. So we've got duration in days on the on the left here, month of the year on the bottom. Uh, we can actually get out the actual figures in days it would have taken based on the parameters entered to carry out the, the complete installation of 15 jackets um, for each year of the weather data we've got access to. Um, but again, there are other ways of reporting that same data, but uh, that's just a, a very quick example of how one might use the software for that sort of purpose.